welcome back to Gold Price. This is the Thermal Right AXP90 R CPU cooler that retails at RM239. As you can see, full copper and bright orange fan. And speaking of Thermal Right, it reminds me of my Thermal Right SLK120 that's so old that it's lost its copper color. Now, back to the AXP90. This is the one that's for AMD processor. If you're using an Intel processor, there's another version for it, simply because the mount is fixed, so you have to choose the right one for your processor. Now, let's dive into the review proper. The Thermal Right AXP90 is compact and beautiful. Mounting the AXP90 is easy, all you need is to get these screws in place. During mounting, it's just a matter of securing all the screws and you're done. The AXP90 also comes with thermal paste. Here's the result of the AXP90 used with the Ryzen 5 3600 XT, which is a hot processor, and the AXP90 worked very well, not just for gaming, but even for multi-core workloads. I know that the temperature is on the high side, but do consider that it is holding itself pretty well. I wouldn't be expecting one to use a high heat processor with high workload and to be using a small size CPU cooler. Being made of copper, you have to understand that copper is great at absorbing heat, but not as good as aluminum when it comes to dissipation. Another thing to note is that depending on the paste you use, it could get really sticky and there's no room to twist the heatsink due to the nature of the mount. Alright, we come to the end of this video and the AXP90 from Thermorite is certainly a great CPU cooler and I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for something of a low profile. But speaking of the low profile, I know the product page says that it's um, like 32mm here, 15mm fan. However, it does not tell you the full picture. So for this model, the AMD model, I measured from the PCB to the fan itself, it's about 55mm. So take note of that. As long as your casing has that clearance, the thermal right AXP90 will fit in just fine. That's all from me for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful and informative. If you like more of this kind of content, do check out the videos at the side and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.